It must be tiring standing there like that. Why don't you sit down? There's plenty of room. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, I suppose. You remind me of someone, you know. Stubborn as hell, but... Always. Not anymore. I know what you're trying to do now. You think you're a pretty smart fellow, hey? Can I tell you a secret? I killed someone. He was a very close friend of mine. I didn't do it intentionally, of course. But it was my fault, nevertheless. Have I ever mentioned how much you look like him? It happened very late at night. We were both extremely drunk. I can't even remember, but I was upset that day. I knew he'd picked up on it because he put his hand on my shoulder and gave me a look like everything was going to be okay. He opened up his bag, pulled out a bottle of wine, opened it, and gave it to me before even taking a sip. I mean, what kind of person does that? Such a small gesture, but such a memorable one. We took turns drinking out of the bottle. Could ease the cup, I suppose. But he insisted it tasted better this way. I couldn't tell the difference, of course. He was always getting text messages. He was a very popular person. One was an invitation to a party. He asked me if I wanted to go. He was that sort of person, I guess. Couldn't say no to anything. Always wanting to meet new people. to go so badly but I lied I told him I wasn't feeling well and that I wanted to go to bed why did he any other day it was like God didn't want me to go That was the first time ever that I'd lied to him. I remember the last thing he said to me. 
Tom. You do what you want to do. No regrets. All this time, I thought that I would. I thought that if I went with him, nothing would have happened. But I see now. I couldn't have changed a thing. 